Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Andy. In this video we're going to take a look at filtering and see how we can make traffic viewer more viewable by filtering some of the unwanted information. To simulate traffic we will use the traffic generator to send messages that we can filter for this example. So to do this we need to open the traffic generator tool and we have this open here. We have to select some uh, network interface cards so we'll press the adapter. We have two network interfaces card that is connected uh, in a loop. So we have D-Link and Realtek. For the generator part, we will use D-Link. So we'll double click this one and then press OK. So to generate some messages, we go to the message template here. And we can create a couple of different messages with different uh, protocols. Uh, so we can start by adding a some IP. We can add a UDP. We can add an IPv4. Can add a ICMP for and another SOM IP. And now we can configure this to have different uh, properties uh, for source and destination, etc. Uh, so we can then filter and see what happens. So now when we have configured this, we can start them as well. So we click the activate button here. Now let's go to the traffic viewer and see how we can use filtering. So now we have the traffic viewer open and we can start to see how we can filter. First off, we need to select an interface to start to capture the traffic. In my case, we have two NICs that is connected via loop. So we can go to the interface. And first one is the D-Link, which is used uh, by the traffic generator. And second one is Realtek. So we'll use this one for the traffic viewer. So we can now see the traffic and let's see how we can use filters to pinpoint the information that we want to see. So let's see that say that we want to see all the UDP messages only. So then we have to filter on protocols. So we go to this filter bar here and we write protocol and then we have autocomplete here for UDP so we can just press enter. And we see all the UDP messages that's being uh, sent or captured rather. Now we want to filter something else. So we want to filter on uh, the, some IP addresses, for example. So then we go back here and then we write either source for the source IP address or we write the destination for the destination IP address. So let's say we want to check the destination for uh, an IP address. Let's say 255.255.255.255. Let's this see what happens. So now we can see all the messages that has this destination IP address. And in this case, it's the ICMP protocol that is being that is sending to this destination. So this was just the basic on how you can use the filtering bar here to filter the traffic that is being captured by the traffic viewer. To learn more about this filtering, you can go to the documentation page here and learn more. We have now seen how we can use filters to pinpoint the information that we're looking for. But in some cases, you want to filter traffic before you capture it. For example, to reduce log file sizes. So then we can take a look at PCAP filters. Let's see how it works. So in Android Traffic Viewer, you have the option for capture configuration. So if you press this, you will get the capture configuration page here. So we can use PCAP filters here in the base filter bar in order to filter traffic before we actually capture it so that we can only capture what we actually want. So we can write a filter here. Let's start with a simple IP filter. So we will filter on a source address. So let's try it. So we will write SRC, then the IP addresses of one of the sources that we have generated previously. And now we see that it works here and then we press OK. And then restart. So we can see here. Now we even have a filter. We can remove this filter. It will show the same. But now we will see only this. So let's try something different. Let's try to filter on protocol. So we'll go back here and we'll write something else. So we will write so we'll write IP proto UDP. And now we will filter on UDP. So we press OK and restart. And now you can see we have some different stuff here. 
but we still have UDP and we have some sum IP. So might be wondering what that's all about. But we can see here that actually some IP is on top of UDP. So that's why we're still getting these messages. But we want to maybe filter all the some IP messages now. So then we can go to here and then we can filter protocol. And then we can write some IP here. And we see all them. Or if we want to see only the UDP, we can do that as well. So to learn more about PCAP filters, you can go to the documentation page and you will come to the Andy help guide. You have now learned the basics on how you can use filters in Andy to make your logs more accessible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.